We are gonna be putting my Mustang on E85 today with, well, this little kit from Fuel It right here. This whole entire kit is actually really easy to install too, so we're gonna pop the hood. Right over here on the driver's side is actually the fuel line. It goes into the fuel rail right there and then back into the firewall over there. We're gonna have to disconnect it. Also, if you guys don't want squirted with fuel, unplug this from the fuel pump right there, let the car idle until it dies off and then no fuel will be in the lines. You guys can hear it struggling to get fuel. It's about to shut off here in a second. And there we have it, car died off. There should be no pressure on the lines. We're gonna grab just a little 3 8 fuel disconnect line and disconnect it from the firewall back there. It's a little easier to show you how to use this now, but with this over there, you really just slide this piece in there, disconnect it and pull up, and then this little line comes off. And then over here, it's just a quick connect, a lot easier. And now with this out of the way, we can install the kit. We're gonna put a little bit of lube on the end of these just because why not? And then with the new sensor and the new lines, hook it up in a uh, configuration kind of like this. Now that that is all on and, well, looks super clean, we're going to wire this thing up. We're going to run this extension piece first, and you can either run it through the front or the back, but I'm going to hook mine up there and run it over to the battery box. With that ran at the back of the car, we can look at this right here and actually plug in the fuel it module. I'm actually just going to hide mine down in this battery box. And then from the fuel it module, you plug in this last little wire, and conveniently, we have ground and power right in front of us, so you just do red to red, black to black. Now that the kit is all done, fully installed, fully wired up, I can now check that there is no more guesswork. I was shooting for E30, I'm at E28, so I know I'm close enough and I'm good. No more guesswork.